I click the record button and say, yo, what up? How's it going, everybody? Uh, I got another deck doctor here. Um, this time for Retainer Odin. He says, can't be in stream tonight. Traveling home for the holidays. Hope everyone had a good one. We did. Thanks for thanks for, for asking. Uh, so his pitch is Fire, Fury, Shigaraki. We have to keep Prominence Burn. He says, I would like to utilize Shigaraki's free damage with Fury cards for big numbers and guarantee damage every combat. I am not attached to any foundation. And so... Let's uh first off, let's take a look at the choices that that uh, they've made when it comes to building Fire Shigaraki. I have gone ahead and uh, thrown a bunch of stuff into the sideboard, and then we'll just talk through my thoughts and decision making. So obviously we have to keep the prominence burn, and I think prominence burn being a three of is totally rad. I think it's a I think it's a totally uh totally chill choice. Um, the next thing that I see is the Ignited Arrow. If it's blocked, you discard cards on top of your deck until you discard attack. Works really well uh, tactically with Shigaraki. So either they block, uh, they, they block and they give me a move, right? Uh, they full block, they give me a move. They partial block, they give me a move. They take two damage from the Ignited Arrow and then I burn them for five with Shigaraki. So it's a seven damage move that I pick up another move. Or they don't block. I don't get the move, and they take uh, nine damage. Seems pretty good for a four diff. Um, it feels very bad for my opponent not to block my two speed for five that just like burns them, or two speed for four that burns them for five. So the card feels very, very good. My big thing is it's always going to be blocked. It's just going to be blocked. Um, the more that I've played Ignited Arrow, the less that I feel great about it. Um, uh, it is. It definitely puts a lot of eggs in one basket. Up um, next, we're gonna go to Stun Grenade. This card's insane. Um, it has Stun One, and it does almost as good of a job as Finding Attacks as Ignited Arrow. But it's on your your time as opposed to on their time. Um, also a four mid for four, so four mid for nine in Shigaraki if we touch them. Um, and it says that like stuff gets to happen. Nitro Explosion Condition. So it's a five high for four. Um, remove for powerful two. That's irrelevant. Uh, but it says after a fear attack leaves your card, uh, a card pool during the combat phase. We don't have a way to do that. Um, I guess we do with prominence burn, but we'd have to have like, it'd have to go like nitro into stun grenade into prominence burn, remove the stun grenade, respawn, get a momentum. Or I guess you go nitro, nitro, right? And nitro tactically works with stun grenade because whenever this nitro leaves, Stun Grenade gets plus one to its stun rating. It's fine. It's fine. But the one card that I'm really confused about is this Blast Rush Turbo. And this card is not going to last our last. Um, it's a four low for five. The bottom hand says if I've discarded a card from my card pool this combat phase, it gets plus one speed, plus three damage. Incredible for Bakugo. Terrible for every other character. Literally every other character. Uh, this, this, this card just like doesn't really work. Um, strictly because it says if you I've, I have to have discarded the card. This does. Oh, this card doesn't count, and this card doesn't count because they get removed from the game, and we don't actually have any ways to um, do stat pumps or, or to to clear things uh, on on this side either. And seizing advantage doesn't count because it builds down, and this thing even says an attack. Or it says from a oh, card. Sorry, uh, this card builds; it doesn't just get discarded. Um, yeah. Let's now look at the actions and assets. Four actions, just seizing the advantage. Uh, this card's very good, plus two speed, and then flip one of their cards. Incredible. Uh, in incredibly, incredibly good. Press conference, stunning. We're probably gonna up into a four of. Ice gliding, uh, League of View, probably gonna be a one of. Homage is interesting. Um, yes, it is draw power on the fire symbol, but I think there's probably just better things we could be doing besides what Homage has got going on. Um, and it's really cool with seizing, but I don't think it, Deserves a home in our Shigaraki deck. Uh, Agitation being a two of is cool. Um, if our move gets blocked, it gets to draw a card. It feels really good tactically with Ignited Arrow, right? So we put that third condition on of if you block, not only do I get to find the move, but I also draw a card. Like it, it, uh, ag Agitation Ignited Arrow is like some of the some of the best value you can find on on my opponent blocking my move. It feels very good. In danger. This card's bad. <laughs> Let's fight bad guys. This card's insane. Heroic Lineage, a very good card. Keen Observation, I am a big Keen Observation hater. So we're going to cut this card for sure, for sure. Uh, stats, 
this is a 50 card deck so i'm gonna do my best to keep it around 50 cards we're playing 16 attacks um, i'm gonna try not to bloat it up as much as we can looking at the block modifiers that we starting out six is too low especially with the cool ability that we have of response commit after you completely block an attack rival destroys the ready foundation uh this card is just too good to to uh, th th this ability is too good to to be be poked in our ankles too well so let's uh see what we have we got a, two cards already this done uh, in, in the sideboard and i've added 15 more <laughs> so let's uh let's just look at the attacks first right look at the attack first um so he put a ton of dust and i put in long lasting explosion long lasting explosion is a five mid for six that says my next move gets faster, which is exactly what I want out of Shikaraki. <laughs> I need my prominence burns to start at seven high for sevens, and then they become nine high for sevens. And I can prominence burn, remove the long lasting explosion in order to uh, make stuff happen. This feels incredible. Up next, we've got rapid punches. Another Fury card um, that gets speed. Speed is the name of the game because our character gives five damage once per turn, right? Speed is the name of the game. Um, this deck gets plus one speed for each copy of Rapid Punches in my card pool. It counts itself. And so you Rapid Punches, it's a five low for, for four. If it hits, you burn them and you get to draw a card with the response. After this attack gets damage, you draw a card. Beautiful two mid block. Stun Grenade. Hell Flame Stomp. So one low block, four low for four. Lose two health. This deck gets two speed or two damage. When you're trying to go for the kill, you give it the damage. When you're trying to push through, you give it the speed. So it's a four diff, six low for four. That burns them for uh, that burns them for for five. Absolutely incredible. This card is nuts, and it's got a one low block. That's insane. Touch of Decay, it's classic. Uh, combos with Fury. The main reason that we would be playing Furies is Prominence Burn has like a soft combo, and then Touch of Decay has a hard combo. <coughs> it says good foundation if it's completely blocked add it back to your hand so like uh, you're gonna get this nine damage through or maybe seven damage through depending and then if it's not blocked at all you draw a card and lastly decaying grip uh this card's got a really cool uh shigaraki response of after you block with this card ready your character so if they play a mid you block with decaying grip you respond with shigaraki commit blow that uh blow up their foundation and then respond with the can grip to ready back up shigaraki and then on your next block you can block and then respond to shigaraki again this card's super super cool i love this out of one of and every single one of my shigaraki decks so let's uh let's talk about it let's uh let's let's start making some start making some cuts all right first and foremost i think blast rush turbo is just gone i think there's no reason for us to play that card um i think united arrow gets to go to a two of I think this is better things we could be doing with our time. And I think Nitro Explosion Initiative, um, as much as I like this card and how it works with Stun Grenade, I want to cut it um, because I think there's other things that we could be doing. Uh, let's look at Difficulty one more time. I would much rather be playing Long Lasting Explosion. I would much rather be playing Rapid Punches because I think that they are bigger threats and Rapid Punches uh, does things on its own, whereas Ignition wants to do, to do things with other things right it, it it fuels stun grenade as opposed to this card being good all by its lonesome so i'm gonna cut nitro explosion ignition and i'm gonna put in four rapid punches and see how i feel about it back to 12 goal is to go to i think 18 attacks in our 50 card deck and maybe 17 and the reason it's so high is because we have to have at least one every turn and my opponent is gonna block one every turn so i actually have to play two attacks every turn uh, let's go back to difficulty. I love long lasting explosion. I'm gonna put it at a three of. I think long lasting into any of these moves, like long lasting into ignited, or actually, hold on. This is a low attack. This is a mid attack. Getting more damage is not actually worth it. So maybe we do something else. Maybe maybe instead of long lasting, maybe we actually just do turn to dust. Huh. I think turn to dust is incredible. It's one of those really really good ones. Fifteen. That feels good. And then from here, I mean, we have two Hellflame stomps that we just add, and that puts us to our 17 that I wanted. Look at our block zones for our, our, our moves. Three highs, two highs. So five highs, then two lows. Hmm. I wonder if we did this, and then did this. I think that technically this is just like a, a better, better card than what Hellflame Stomp has got going on. But man, this card pushes damage so easy. Pay two life for plus two speed is is really really good. Yeah, my honest opinion is I just want the deck to be a little thicker, um, but we will we will fix it. I think seventeen attacks is totally fine. Up next, let's talk about seizing. I think four x seizing in any six hand size character is too much. 
I think the only character that can maybe get away with this is um is Jiro. Uh but she has draw power on her attacks. Uh I'm gonna put this down to a two of. Because I'm gonna put in one go for the win. And I'm gonna put in one sugar rush power up. I think both of these cards saying uh, plus speed plus speed do things that are slightly different than go for the uh, than seizing the advantage, and you never want to double draw seizings. I think drawing two seizing the advantage is actually bad. I think that I think that as soon as you double up on this card and you've got you've got too many of this card in your hand, I, th I think it's just over. I think this is I think this is just the right play. Still keep your four actions. Um, if you wanted to, you could pump seizing up to a three of, but it means that we're losing foundations here. We're gonna keep it down to down to a two of for now. Uh, 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 Odin, if you decide to that you want to change your mind about that, please feel free. I'm now gonna take and I'm gonna go through your foundation lineup and I'm just gonna rip everything out that I don't like. <laughs> so, so here goes. First and foremost, league interview gets to be a one of at maximum. At maximum. You're not playing a bunch of five difficulties as your openers. And so, yes, uh, if you check a three, you make it a four on, on your openers. But I just I just don't care. I, I, I'm down to commit the foundations. Homage, bad card. Agitation, one of at max. In danger, bad card. Let's fight bad guys, insane card. Keen observation, bad card. I ripped half of your foundations out. <laughs> let's now uh now let's uh let's look at the uh the, the moves that we want to play. Quick to act. Insane card. This card's so good. Calling for backup. We're a uh this card says that when we're at less than half health, we get plus one speed. Speed's the name of the game. We need speed because we get free damage. We gotta we gotta have the damage. Calling for backup says that we're not a uh six hander on the turns that we calling for backup. Uh, for every attack that we have a calling for backup, we're now plus one hand size. So being a seven hand size Shigaraki, nuts, actually insane. Fastest flame is gonna be a two of. It is two more copies of the best foundation in our deck, and that's Let's Fight Bad Guys. Let's Fight Bad Guys is insane. Fastest flame. Also very good. Irrefutable is a very good card. We're going to put it at a 2 of. And that means that we're going to drop Heroic Lineage down to a 3 of. And we'll see what happens there. Uh, plus Ultra is very good. I want I want to put Plus Ultra in your deck. If we had more room for cards, since I'm trying to keep it as close to 50 as possible, I would definitely be putting Plus Ultra at least a 1 of in your deck. Unnerving Energy. This card's cool, but it's a 4 check. Defrosting. I think Double Defrosting is kind of cool. Let's look and see where we're at now. 50 even with our block zones. We have too many. We don't have enough high blocks. We have too many mid blocks. Look at our block zones. Look at all these mid blocks. Okay, that's easy enough. We have a literally one high block and it's press conference. Well, obviously we get to push this up to a four of. It was the best one that we have. I'm going to take and I'm going to go back to this. And I'm going to go scout for fire foundation high block. And then see what I find. Press conference. Um, a Dreading Resentment is a good one. Cool Student is a good one. Stronger Darkness is incredible. We probably should have that. Latent Skill is a great one. All right, let's put you over here. Frozen is a good one. We can look at that. I don't want to put Keen Observation back on our deck. Um, Man, this sucks. I would have loved to have had Stronger Darkness. Just as the, just as the spam. Um, Maybe it is Unnerving Energy. I mean, this card's good, right? This card's good. All right, let's bring it back. Let's bring it back. All right. We have 10 high blocks. We get to look at Flayton Skill. Let's put it at a 3 of. Frozen at a 2 of. That's enough, right? 15 high blocks. That's so many high blocks. We're good. We're so, so good. I think uh, this card being able to filter is fine, but we shouldn't We shouldn't need this card. I think if your Shigaraki deck needs this card, I think you just don't have enough attacks in your deck. And then Frozen is just... Destroy Foundation for stun one. It's good enough. Good enough. Let's look at block zones. This is fine. Look at low blocks. I think from here, I think we just have to cut mids in order to get back down to uh, down to this number. I think Fastest Flame might be what needs to go first. Because I think Defrosting and Ice... Uh, Defrosting and Ice Clay... Actually, I hate this card. I think this card's going to leave. I don't like... I don't like that card. Uh, not in this not in this kind of a deck. If you're playing a bunch of six diffs... Or six... Yeah, six diffs, I'm in. But I'm just not... I'm just not here for it. I almost feel that same way about agitation. And I kind of want to let this ride. 15 highs, 28 lows. I don't like that card because I forget it has text. 
Well, yeah, Eyebright, obviously. <laughs> uh, I think the first easy cut is probably just fast as flame, right? Because it's just first enhanced plus two speed. I think this is, it just says that you have to be a little more patient with your less fight bad guys and, and make them a little bit better. At the same time, I think fast as flame is kind of nuts. Maybe it is just ice sliding down to a three of? And maybe we just cut the agitation. Right? 54? 54 and 17 is not terrible. Hmm. Chat, what do you think? What do you think? I think we could get to 53 if we cut the agitation. But otherwise, I think I'm actually just chill. I think I'm chill. Because the big thing here is we, we need speed pump. We need speed pump. And so that's why I want to keep this fastest flame. I think fastest flame existing at a two of is very good. You'd cut agitation. I think I'm going to leave it for now. But, Odin, whenever you watch this, I think this is first on the cutting cutting block. I like agitation as, as a card. Um, it just feels like a card for a slower format. And at the same time, you're like not playing a very slow deck, right? This says that you're trying to kill people, right? The slow decks play, play big decks. The fast decks play slim decks. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, I think this is where I'm gonna leave it. I think yeah, I think agitation is the uh is the is is the, the flex card that you get to have, per se. Um So uh with that, oh thank you for the support over on Patreon. Thanks for letting me uh see your really awesome fire shigaraki deck. And uh with that, I wish you well.